Hey there, I'm about to talk to you about the book selection for rising juniors. It's called Just Mercy. This book is by Brian Stevenson. There are two versions of the book. Make sure you get the one that has a green check mark. It is the one that is not edited for kids. The ones to the right are YA or young adult versions. They're adaptations, they're not the full book. You want to get the full book. So why would I want to read this book? Why should you pick it? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First and foremost, it's about law and prison reform. Our narrator is Brian Stevenson, and this is his experience dealing with prison reform and true injustice. So if you are interested in those types of topics, if you've ever watched Law and Order or are interested in those types of um, prison reform um, all that kind of stuff. It's really a good look at what's been going on. It's also very topical, right? It's current to us. It's beyond the civil rights movement. So what um, this book looks at and makes us think about is how far or how little we've been able to accomplish since the civil rights era. This book is taking place 50 years after those events, and it really chronicles a time before the Black Lives Matters movement, before we started focusing on police brutality, to see why these um, conversations need to happen and why, as young adults, you should be paying attention to these, and most of you probably do. Um, the last reason that you should read it is because it's a glimpse into real people's lives. Brian met these people. These are real people behind bars for crimes they didn't commit, for mercy that hasn't been given. And that plays into the title of just mercy. What is just? What's unjust? And how do we fix things? You guys will get a chance to really get to know these characters, these real people, and get invested in their real lives and what's happening with them. And hopefully, you know, see some good stuff that happens to these characters. And of course, finally, no, no reason to ever read a book, but it was adapted into a major motion picture. So, it obviously is something that was given enough attention and was seen as a good enough book to want to make into a movie. So I really hope that you read it. I think you'll like it. And I think it has some good information in a good way to look at things. Thank you for listening.